Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Smoke and Flame uh, tutorial. Now this one's going to be on recursive ops um, for more of a creative use rather than what's already been explored in terms of uh, plate cleanup and uh, stuff like that. So this one is purely just we're going to dive into how you can use uh, recursive ops to generate some cool kind of abstract mats and also um, you get a very organic kind of fluidy uh, effect using recursive ops. So the first thing I'm going to do to show it is I'm just going to pull out a color colored frame and then just go to Gmask, shift alt in. I'm just going to load in it's a normal circle and just look at the result. And for this I'm going to scale it down to 20%. Just going to jump to the start and go over here, maybe pull down here, jump to this key, delete that key and just jump to the end and I'm just going to pull over to the right and then pull up. So you see we got pretty straightforward animation like you'd expect. Now the first thing to do here is um, again just going to our uh, friend recursive ops. So I'm just going to go to all nodes R, pull out recursive ops and press F4. Again uh, the defaults for this aren't exactly what we want. Um, so again let's just um, let's go through. I'm going to turn off that and I'm going to put this to max lighten again. I'm going to turn off 2D transform and turn off blur and crump distort. So nothing, nothing is happening right now except for what we're used to is where everything gets added up. So the first thing, I'm going to turn on blur and maybe pump this up a little and press play. And you see it's just smoothing out our um, our little like linear animation we just did, which isn't really that amazing. So um, to really kind of add to this, what's cool is when we actually turn on this crumple distortion, I'm just going to put it up to a value of about maybe like 1.5 or so. I press play and see we're getting some variation now um, which instantly makes for a kind of a cool smoke smoke trail effect. Um, again uh, it's not perfect but it's interesting that you can do that. Now something that you can do to this that adds even more is again if we en enable 2D transform by default if we press play it enables rotation which we'll put to zero and scale which we'll put to just a hundred. And for this, I just want it to, to go up in Y. So I'm going to say something like 25, maybe 25. Press play. And you see now it's influencing where that's running off to. So we're getting this trail going up in the Y based off um, our 2D transform, which is happening with the recursive ops. So again, um, if we go back to the start, let's try smaller values, say 5, and press play. And you see now it's slowly kind of trailing up, and we got again closer to the trail we had. So let's go back down to 10, press play. I'm liking that. So again like off the bat we have something that could be used for a smoke trail, um, a particle substitute, w whatever. Um, the cool thing that happens now is if we turn on the color correction by default nothing's happening. But if we play with Luma um, we really kind of fill this guy out. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to pull this all the way up, and press play. And you see now we have this crazy, it, it's almost like an ink-like uh, uh, thing going on. Um, again, if I just undo the, turn off the color corrector and press play, you see we've gone from kind of wispy, smoky, um, and then with this enabled, again, we're revealing this kind of cool transition. So again, if we really wanted, we could um, turn on scale for this too, maybe. Press play. And you see now it's again it's eventually going to scale up and big and go past frame but again we're getting some i'll put this down to back to 100 and then maybe turn off the y and so i'm just going to deactivate that and just you see what we get without the 2d transform again it's a very cool kind of ink ink vibe that you could eventually fill screen now the other cool thing that you can do with this is if we just go to um i'll just go to pull out a text node and I'm just going to jump in and just type smoke. It's going to scale that up, press escape, just pull it down somewhere here and maybe just press escape again and just make it a little bit bigger and that'll do just for this example. So now I want to apply this um, same thing to kind of reveal um, some text from recursive ops. So again I'm just going to pull out a recursive ops and just put him in, press F4, and by default, again, we'll turn off all these. Um, if I just turn on blur and we see what happens, oh, sorry, I wasn't looking at the results, I think. 
screeniverse play. And again, I should have put it to max lighten. Now we're going to see the blur starting to accumulate and we're getting this glow, right? That is what you'd expect. Now again, let's, um, let's add some more distortion to it. So I'm going to pull this up somewhere here and press play. See, we're getting some cool, cool stuff. But again, I, I want to use this again as a mat to get rid of my smoke. Say we're using this as the alpha for the, for the text. Um, first thing is, is because this is recursive, I want to turn this off the frame after. I just want this to exist for one frame because we are, it's recursively using it. So what happens after the first frame is going to be fine if it disappears. So I'm going to turn this on and then just to use black after the first frame. So you see, it's just disappearing like you'd expect. And if we just go back to the schematic and now if we go to the first frame and press F4 and press play, see instantly it's doing something interesting. It's, it's just disappearing. Again, it's a little bit more wispy, um, and that's all to do with this amount. If I put this down to two and press play, you see it's a little more interesting, but the other cool thing is we can pull up on our octaves, and I'm gonna go somewhere here and press play, and now that kind of gives it some noise and disturbance. Now again, if we wanted this to kind of disappear, we can turn on our, our guy here, put that to zero, put that to 100, and just say, again, pull it up in a little bit in Y. If we press play, let's see, maybe, Maybe we could up the, the amplitude of the distortion and the blur and press play. So it's a little bit too fast maybe. So again, let's go down to 15. You see, we're getting some cool stuff just kind of dissipating from that text. And the more you play with this, again, if we enable um, our color correction, but put it to, say we play with gamma on this. You see, it does some interesting stuff and kind of leaks out and again, a, a, an interesting effect, again, just based off that. Um, if I turn off that, but again, press play, you see we got a pretty cool um, uh, kind of disappearing effect. I'm gonna pull up the amplitude, press play again. So that's probably too much. So I'm gonna go back to two and press play. And again, we can choose which way that kind of goes. So I could put this back to zero and then say, I want it to push over in the X to the right and it kind of pushes it out again. Um, if I put up the amplitude again, you see pretty quickly we can do some cool, cool uh, reveals and you know uh, organic kind of transitions from that. Um, the last thing I want to show you is something that, again, it's all about playing with the tool. But if I am, um, I just go to my first frame and I'm just going to pull out this brush. I'm just going to press Q, and I'm just going to draw a fairly rudimentary crude shape, right? Now let's fill that in to what we just did with our recursive op. So I'm going to press F4. And again, I'm going to, you see it's doing what you'd expect. It's, it's kind of drifting that way. I actually want to turn off the X and put it up on, say, maybe 50 on the Y. And then again, activate my color correction. So if I press play now, you see it's doing cool stuff. We're getting this, this weird, uh, almost like building up of, you know, just, it's a, cool kind of shape that it's making. Um, again, let's pull up the Luma now. And this is where we can have more of a cum cumulative effect. And you can see, again, we get some very interesting um, organic kind of weird noise that would be hard to kind of uh, replicate using something else. Again, I'm going to turn off the, the distortion and press play. And you can see what it's doing. It's just growing based off, based off um, what we fed in. So that's going to be it for this quick tip, guys. Um, I hope that was useful for some of you. Um, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more.